Give it up for your next comedian, Mr. Steve Hammett. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Matt, uh, Matt told me not to be nervous, and uh, you know, the three words that are most often used with comedy are you're either going to die, kill, or bomb. That might scare some people, but at my age, no big deal. <laughs> I'm actually feeling I'm actually feeling pretty good. Uh, it's been a pretty good year, but not nearly as good as last year. Last year, I lost over 150 pounds. And I'm really pretty well. Not quite as good as it sounds. I did lose 15 pounds, but then when my wife dumped me for a bottle of vodka, I lost another 135. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I really like the fall. The fall is, is actually one of my favorite times of the year. I like the cooler weather. I like the festivals that go on, all, all kinds of the leaves changing, all kinds of things. But my youngest daughter is the queen of seasonal changes. She, she just really gets into it. Like most 30-somethings, she likes all things pumpkin. Pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin can scented candles, you name it, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin, everything, pumpkin, oh, there's a pumpkin right there, everything, she would love that. But I think she crossed a line with me recently. We live about a mile apart, and I'm over at her house a lot, and I went home, and she had left a surprise gift basket on my doorstep. And I thought, oh, that's so sweet, I went inside and looked at it, pumpkin hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> pumpkin flavored enema kit. <laughs> And pumpkin scented depends? <laughs> Ew! That's, I don't know what she was thinking, but I did think of one good thing with those pumpkin scented depends. It might keep me from blaming my youngest granddaughter every time I do something. <laughs> so that's an improvement. And, uh, you know, I really, uh, I've, been, I've actually been accused, and some people here know this that know me a little bit, I've actually been known to talk just a little bit too much. And last, about a year ago, I was in Nashville, and I have a friend that's a 30-something guy who's an amazingly talented musician. I was helping him promote a CD. It's kind of funny that here I am, 62 years old, trying to encourage him that CDs are not the way of the future, <laughs> and yet he's getting me to promote them. Well, I met his girlfriend, who's now his wife, at a Cracker Barrel just north of Nashville. And we talked for a little while, and I didn't think anything unusual about it. She talked about her dad having lots of sisters, and I have seven sisters, and we have a lot of things in common. So we exchanged the CDs for some money, which kind of felt like a drug deal in the parking lot of the Cracker Barrel. But we uh, went and got my car, and a little beep went off, but I had a text message. And it says, boy, he sure is a talker. Ouch! That was not intended for me. A couple seconds later, I got another one that said, Oh, I'm sorry, that was meant for Josh. I just meant to tell you that he really talks a lot. Yeah, nice try. Well, I really do know I talk too much. I get reminded of that by my daughters, my grandchildren, my son, everybody. But the toughest part was when I recently got an email from God. And this is what she had to say. She said, I've been getting lots of, quote, prayer requests of people asking you to shut up. <laughs> and the, if they see there's a policy that God has that, that, that she can't make you do anything against your will. And so we said, we had a problem with that. And then we came up with an alternate solution. And that was to bring you home early. And so they did, ran a quick crack of my, check of my credentials and I just barely made it in. But they said, we're right about to implement the plan when we got a petition and it was started by your own mother and your sister Carol and your sister Joyce and your son-in-law's mother Judy and your aunt Uncle Dick, your Aunt Norma, all, my niece Jennifer, and this whole list of all the people that had gone before me. And then today, just today, I got an update that my friend Les Lazama, a great musician, played with lots of famous people out in California, died this morning. He even jumped in and signed the petition this morning. And it was real simple, it just said, please don't send him up here yet. It's nice and peaceful, we'd like to keep it that way at least a little bit longer. So I started a 12-step program. 12-step program is for people like me who do talk too much. It's called On and On Anon. And I'm sure none of you have ever gone to 12-step programs, 12-step meetings, but I have. And and the way this meeting works is we go there, 
we look at each other, we read the serenity prayer silently, we read the 12 steps and the 12 traditions silently, and then we sit and stare at each other for 55 minutes. At the end of the 55 minutes, we stand up in a circle, we hold hands, and we say the Lord's Prayer and we walk away. I'm not sure if it's helping or not. I'm still talking an awful lot. In fact, it's funny, my son-in-law had a massive stroke last November, and he's making great progress. In fact, he had to go through the punishment of listening to me practice this last night. And when he was in the, uh, in the worst of his stroke, I promised him that if he would start talking, I would stop. Now all he does is call me a liar. <laughs> because, I certainly, because I certainly haven't stopped. Well, speaking of heaven, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't take me because I'm looking forward to dying. Anybody else out here looking forward to dying? Okay, well, you know, heaven's one thing, but I'm actually looking forward to the process of dying. And the reason for that is, is because I'm, I'm thinking if I understand physiology properly, that's the very next time a certain part of my body is going to get stiff again. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. What are y'all thinking? Because I'm of British descent, and every Brit wants to die with a stiff upper lip. Oh my God. Now, what were y'all thinking? Uh. Are any of you old enough to remember back when, when uh, you're listening to those Yes CDs or whatever, that you had to go into Best Buy and listen to them on the headphones? Just the, you, had, you listen to a little snippet of it now, I guess, on iTunes when somebody comes out with a new, new song or whatever. They have little short bits of it that you can listen to and decide if you want to buy it or not. Well, what I used to hate, I would go into Best Buy, stick the headphones on, which is a little creepy in itself, that somebody else had been wearing, listen to a comedy CD. And I'd really get into it. I mean, really get into it. And then, right when I got to the punchline, Thank you all very much. I'm Steve Kim. I'd have a good night.